All right, ladies. So today we're going to be reacting to a video by the YouTuber Black Swan Relationship Academy. I honestly, I thought it was another Black Swan. And I'm like, whoa, the Black Swan had a face reveal, but it's not. It's actually a different YouTuber. Um, so, but it's actually a really good video. Why men come back after you ignore them? Um, I've made a, a few videos about this, but let's see what she has to say. And I'm going to give you guys my take on it. Um, if you guys enjoy these reaction videos, let me know. We're going to be doing them over the week. And on the weekdays, on the weekdays and on the weekends, we're going to be doing normal videos where I, you know, you know, I'm talking about like my normal videos. Um, if you guys want to work with me one on one, go to mindfortraction.org to schedule a call with me and purchase some of my courses, Psychological Women of Attraction, which is a course for women who are single, Nice Girls, which is an assertiveness training course, and uh, Natural Chemistry, which is a course for women who are in relationship, and Emotional Mastery, which is a course for to master your emotions, okay? So let's begin with the video. Why men come back when you ignore them? <laughs> Hello, I'm Chengi, and you, my precious one, are my world. Thank you for notification. It's a consultation and problem. It's a huge. Do you guys do what I just did? <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> humanity problem. When we. The thing with um, the, the male female dynamic is that when you are in a relationship with a man and you're very adoring and you're very. You worship the ground that, you, that he walks on, it can easily become. Um, a situation where he feels that he doesn't need you when we are adored and somebody gives freely we have this human dynamic and this human nature of thinking that it's weakness or that that yeah and also you think you're better than them that's what happens it's it's something it's an insidious part of human nature i'll be honest with you um it's not something you're conscious of it's just like it's almost like if somebody scares you and your heart beats faster right you're not consciously in control of that part of your brain um and, and it's also the same thing where if somebody treats us with our requisite love and we didn't even deserve it i unfortunately a lot of people are going to feel like they're better than them um make <clears throat> don't get mad at me and not make people it's just <clears throat> observing your life i mean am i the only asshole here people like it's something that it's a very common trope amongst people person doesn't have value we tend to place value on things and people that I, I honestly hope i'm not the only one holy crap because if i'm projecting jesus christ i got some work to do hold back um on things that are locked behind cabinets on situations uh and circumstances that we can't seem to reach things that are lofty beyond us we tend to put great value on the moment something becomes accessible it loses its value even if yeah, well, the thing is, is that a lot of the times, a lot of the things that we desire really isn't a desire for things. It's just our, our, our unhappiness manifesting itself as a desire. Like a lot of the times, uh, your unhappiness is like a Pokemon that morphs into different shapes and stays the consistent volume, though. So you might want something, but because you are unhappy, once you get it, then that unhappiness will transform itself into another desire. And it'll make you think you want this, and that's why you're unhappy. And so you'll keep chasing the dragon, and you're never really going to find happiness. Because your desire is really the source of your unhappiness. Stop wanting. And all of a sudden, you'll notice your happiness will increase. You could develop that through a meditation practice, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're actually going to talk about a, a meditation practice. Not completely. That I learned in the meditation retreat. I'm not going to teach everything because they told me not to. But I am definitely going to teach you one aspect of it that I think will help. <clears throat> and that aspect of, is how to control your desires and aversions. It's actually a really good strategy. <laughs> like a really good strategy, people. Um, I'm going to make a video about it here. And also, I'm going to make a longer video on my online course, okay? But I'm on my course, Emotional Mastery. If you've got the most expensive engagement ring in the whole wide world, after a while, you're sort of washing dishes with it and putting it on the side. But at first, you just don't want anybody to touch it because it was lofty before, but as it has become yours, you get used to seeing it, all of a sudden, it doesn't matter like mm -hmm. it used to. In the same way, when you're in a relationship with a man and you're giving him your energy and you're giving him your love, you're giving him your devotion, eventually it becomes an entitlement to him. He starts to believe that he's entitled to that the love. Pom -pom. Now, when you begin to ignore him, 
you begin to starve him. You starve him of the attention. You starve him. Now, ignoring in itself is really, by and large, the most kind of difficult thing because you he cannot interpret anything because you're not yelling, you're not screaming, you're not giving him reasons. You've just gone into silence. And so he doesn't know. Humans don't like open loops. That's the thing about human nature. We do not like open loops. We like closing the loops. We, we might not really care about the results. We just want to know what's going, what's, what's behind, or we just want to know the answer, right? And so this plays in into that human nature. Like I said, it's like the whole Scooby-Doo Kang seeing a dark shadow in a in a alleyway and wanting to investigate like that's like an open loop people want to know what they don't know completely people want to know riddles they want to like when things are open loops it drives them it drives them crazy that's why humans call like getting closure that's because humans don't like leaving things open why you've got into silence so some of it is just so that he can get answers to some questions but Secondly, the other thing is that you've become that bit more attractive because now you are lofty. Now you can no longer be accessed in the way that he was able to access you before. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have now become the woman he wants to be with. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have all of a sudden become valuable or, or high worth to him. It is an issue sometimes to do with ego now that depends on where you are in your day yeah like you're for that moment you're high priority to him in relationship spectrum so if you've just met and he was sort of being funny and you sort of ignore him then it's really not going to be that much of a read he will come back because he's curious he will come back because um he wants to see if he can still get your attention he will come back because what's gone on there one of the lights has gone off one of my women or one of my rotations has gone off so he will come back for that reason yeah it's like it's like the bad child right people pay attention more the parents pay more attention to the bad child than the good child and a lot of times, if you really, if they were being honest, they would tell you that they love the bad child more than the good child. Um, I don't know if that's true, to be honest with you, but I just think that's because what's problematic will get more of your attention, right? Like it's it's just it just makes sense if you if you really think about it. If you were in a relationship, a long-term relationship, and you had been courting and dating for quite a long time, then he will come back because. He mm -hmm. wants to know what you're up to if you've met somebody else because ordinarily you may not ignore him. So he will come back because his ego is leading him to, because he might be jealous, he might be envious, he might want to know what's going on. But, um, and, you know, if of course, you know, you had an acrimonious breakup, then you ignoring him will literally just be well because we had the big fight. That said, Ignoring somebody is the best possible way to get that person to show interest back in you. So it's not the most healthy way, right? <laughs> Says Father Alex. Yeah, and it's true. It does get them to pay attention to you, but it doesn't give you that long-term attention you're actually looking for because we don't know whether or not he's doing it because he loves you or because it hurt his ego. The best way to find out whether or not it's it, to find out if it's genuine is not to do is to do nothing. <laughs> I guess to do nothing and even then it's hard to find out because people come to your life for, for many reasons and you can never guess what reason that is it's impossible sometimes it's genuine reasons sometimes it's disingenuous reasons it's just hard to tell um and that's what makes it difficult that's what keeps you know that's why keeps me employed <laughs> if you are in a situation where you want that person to come back then ignoring them is the best possible move that you can ever make because they cannot interpret your silence. But if you don't want that person back, then ignoring them is not a good idea because it is going to trigger that flea they follow. Yeah, it's actually, it's best to actually um, be needy with them and text them a lot, call them a lot, and annoy the living the hell out of them. In fact, Find out what, you, what what Melissa does when she likes Tyrone and do exactly what she says. Exactly what she does. Or better yet, find out what you do when you like someone, right? And do exactly what that is. Principle, whenever you flee, somebody Say, will I want to peg you. <laughs> baby, I'll, 
baby, I want to tap that ass. Like, <laughs> not gonna lie, but girl tells me that you, you better get the hell out of here, girl. Like, don't, don't, don't come in with that bullshit. Like, don't, please don't text me anymore. If, <laughs> yeah, I think so, hundred percent. But um, I'm trying to say, I'm trying to think because if a girl says that to me, I'll say okay, but I'm really lying. <laughs> I'm like, come through then. <laughs> and then when she arrives, I'm like, yo, keep that shit, leave that shit outside and come in by yourself, man, when you ain't paying no one. But, but for real, for real, all, all joking aside, um, um, actually showing a lot of attention makes will make the guy pull away eventually. But again, I don't, I don't think that's doable because why would you give a guy that you don't like already a lot of attention? And what if he likes it, right? So it's not a good idea. Will follow. Whenever you pull back, somebody will pull, will pull towards you. It's the way it is. It's a dynamic, a human dynamic where we we push and pull, basically. So if you know that I really don't want this person back, I'm really done with them, I really am, then ignoring them is not a good idea. What you need to do is just explain to them, meet with them, text them, phone them, email them. Best thing is to have some sort of verbal conversation with them in person or over the phone and explain to them so that they are clear that this is not you playing games and explain to them that you would like to end this relationship and that... Yeah, exactly. Um. The worst thing that you could do is break up with someone and not tell them why, because that will make them obsessed. Um, that will make them chase harder. And it's fucked up and very cowardice. Honestly, it's very cowardice on your part. Honestly, people, I may do the same shit here to me. Honestly, like I'm in I'm in an apartment right now and the lady that ran to me the apartment, she told me that everything's perfect and that there's a puppy here i'm like okay i like puppies father alex likes puppies when i saw that puppy i, I i'm like is this dog this puppy is straight from the jurassic era this puppy is not a puppy like what, what do you got it from africa like this is not a nine and 12 month old puppy man and this dog literally climbs on me all the time and when before I enter the apartment, this dog, she's like, before you enter the apartment, sometimes you're gonna hear growls that sound angry, but he's not really angry. And and, and I'm like, bitch, what the fuck do you mean? And growls that sound angry, but it's not really angry. I think that's angry, especially coming from a dinosaur of that size. So every time I come in, <clears throat> you hear that, and I'm like, oh my god, holy shit. And it's like I already pay the I I already pay like I'm paying uh, weekly because I'm moving into another place. But this this dog he knows how to open doors. This dog walks into my room in the middle of the night. And I'm like, bitch, man, this this dog is gonna. Like I understand this dog is nice and friendly because I like dogs, but not this dinosaur. This shit is prehistoric, straight from the Jurassic eras. And because of that, like she's just so nice, but I'm leaving. You know, thank you very much for a wonderful time, but this relationship is not meeting my need or I don't have enough romantic feelings for me to pursue this relationship any further if it's the early stages of the relationship. Um, and, you know, I won't be in contact and I won't be in touch by it. Honestly, that's the best thing to do. But I wish you well, because that closes... But please don't tell him any woman will be happy to be with you, because that's another slap in the face, all right? Just end it without trying to make him feel good. Just end it swiftly and cleanly. No need to make him feel good. Just say what you need to say. The whole point of this little mission is to not create or not have any open loops. Close, close that wound. ...the door, and that means that you haven't left the door open, okay? So they always come back when you ignore them because there is the fleet and flood follow yes leaving the door open will always cause them to chase this is so true that that what she is saying is so true and it's, it's almost like you, you you and this is why we can't be cowards like we have to be straight out with people and tell people what we feel because when we don't tell people what that does, it accomplishes the opposite. It makes them chase more. The principle, the push and pull principle, wherever you, there is that kind of darkness, um, you know, 
then you become intriguing men love to pursue masculine men love pursuing they love mystery um, and by ignoring them you're creating all of that in ignoring them if you think ignoring them is going to let you let them know what they've done wrong that is the worst reason to ever ignore anybody because with men unless you articulate what they've done wrong they are not going to go away and work it out they're not going to figure out hey calm down jesus christ we're not that much in the end at all oh i've done a b c d e f g so that's why i'm being ignored they're just not gonna put that we're gonna assume we're gonna think we're gonna find like when you don't give us a reason we're gonna find reasons and naturally we're gonna blame ourselves and that's why the strategy works so well and that's why it's so nefarious and evil if you really think about it because if you're naturally a victim if you've naturally been abused in life this is going to be a natural reaction that thing together so you would have to articulate so if you're ignoring your partner your boyfriend because you're hoping he's going to figure out what he's done you're wasting your time you need to have a conversation but if you're ignoring that person because you want them to grow in attraction great idea if you want to get them back or you want the attraction for you to to come up then of course that's a good idea as long as you're not doing it in a kind of play game situation where yeah and that's why it's always good just to have a life like i go to school right and when i'm in school i'm kind of busy and so it naturally comes with distance because i got to put more time into my into my school right mm -hmm. So it's the same thing with this. Like, if you don't have a life, you're not going to do this. And you're going to end up doing this in a manipulative way. But if you have a life and you have things to do, then you're going to do this. And it's not going to be manipulative. It's going to be a natural part of life and the natural part of being with you. A man is present. He's giving you what you want. He's giving you attention. He's loving you up. And you just want a little bit of to toy with him. Um, then I would say it's not a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Put the fucking knife down. So I hope that this video was helpful. Well, that's the video, man. Um, it was actually really good, actually. I learned I learned a lot from this video, actually. <laughs> Not saying like, oh, I didn't expect to learn. But what I'm saying is that there were some points of views of what she said. Like, when you're not honest with the guy and you don't break up with them the way you should, you are creating creep tarts in your life. You're creating creep creepazoids. You're creating guys who are going to stalk you, potentially. And and then you and a, and I can imagine that women who are afraid of confrontation might be might make a lot of creepy dudes in their lives, and they don't understand why. They, oh shit! Sorry, people. You fucking dropped us. You dropped us. <laughs> um, and they might not they may not understand why they have so many needy guys in their lives, and it's because they just avoid confrontation, or because some women are just freaking vindictus and vindictus and they enjoy playing with men but hey man uh, play with fire and eventually you're gonna get burnt because karma is a real thing trust me i went to that meditation retreat i sense karma i have a lot of bad karma in my life for that that i think i'm gonna pay for it in the future but you know i am more than willing to pay for my sins anyways <laughs> people what are those sins i bet i could guess what the fucking sins are shut up melissa if you guys ever want to work with me one-on-one -on -one, go to myforattraction.org let me know what other video you guys want me to react to next um and in two days we're going to be making a long form 30 plus minute video so don't you know wait for that okay take care all right ladies and gentlemen if you guys haven't purchased any of my courses we have a special bundle deal for everyone um, so that you could purchase all of my courses, meaning you could purchase the psychological game of attraction, natural chemistry, and nice girl, along with all of the bonuses. Originally, if you purchase everything without the bundle, it'll be around 400, around $500 to be honest with you. Um, but right now, if you guys purchase it with the bundle, you guys will be able to get all of these courses, psychological game of attraction, which is for women, for women who are single, natural chemistry, which is for women who are in a relationship, nice girl, which is a course on assertiveness, along with all of the bonuses, social mastery, practical mastery in terms of how to master anything, social mastery in terms of how to master your social skills and the laws of human nature, wherein I, it's part of the Robert Greene book club I used to have. All of these, Naturally, like I said, it's 500. Now you get it at 394, which is essentially 20% off everything. But if you guys want to purchase a more affordable bundle, you guys can purchase the bundle without the bonuses. 
and that will be at two um two twenty four rather than the three hundred well rather than the two ninety three that you guys would naturally purchase it. So you could purchase it with the bundle or without the bundle. Uh, um, you could purchase it with the bonuses or without the bonuses. Um, it's all of the work that I put in the last four years, um, in the last five years actually, all of the research that I've done. And this course, rather than watching all of my videos, and because they, they could be random and you could sort of like lose the big picture because there's just so many videos, you guys get all of the content condensed in a course. Trust me, people, if you guys purchase this, you won't regret it. Um, if you haven't purchased it, hopefully this will push you towards it um, because it's something that I believe in and everyone who, who's purchased my course um, have been satisfied with it. And if they didn't like it, I always give my money. I always give their money back. I have never rejected a refund. All right. So purchase it right now. Click on the description down below where it says pur purchase the bundle and I'll see you guys inside.